Welcome to your Stress for Safety yoga practice. I'm Heather, a yoga therapist and teacher in Wausau, Wisconsin. You have the option of standing or sitting today for your practice. So let's begin. Bring your attention to your inhale and exhale. And as you continue to breathe, I'll share the intention of the practice with you for today. We're going to link our movements to the steady pace of our breath to not only stretch and strengthen the body, but also uh, help manage stress and increase your mental clarity for job safety and to notice your movement habits throughout the day. So we're, we're going to begin with feet hip width apart and you're going to find your left arm. As you inhale, bring your left arm forward, but let your right arm move to the side as you up, sweep the arms up to the ceiling, lift the heels. On the exhale, bring the right arm forward, left arm to the side, bring the arms down and the heels will also land. Listen carefully. On this one, right arm forward, left arm to the side. As the arms sweep up, lift the heels. You can reduce your range of motion if needed. But on this exhale, left arm forward, right arm to the side, arms down, and heels land. Good. Do another repetition when you have time. Wide the stance. After that standing balance posture, we're going to move into a forward bend. Inhale, arms sweep wide. Nice stretch from the spine right up through the top of the head. Exhale, forward bend. You're going to bend the knees a bit on that exhale into the forward bend. So you have a safe stretch through the low back and upper back. Arms sweep wide. Rise up. Strong legs. Good bend of those knees. Sweep the arms up and then let those legs straighten a bit. Exhale, forward bend one more time. Feel that healthy stretch from low back right through the back of the neck. Inhale, arms sweep wide. Let the chest expand as you rise up and strong through your legs, good. Arms can relax on the exhale. Part two of this wide-legged flow will be to move into sta a standing twist. So we'll start with inhale, arms extending out from the shoulders. It's the exhale, this will make you think of it. Bring the right hand to the left upper leg as you twist towards the left. The back of the left hand will go to the small of the back and look to the left. Inhale, back to starting position, arms extend out from the shoulders. You wait for your exhale, and the left hand will go to the upper right leg, twist to the right, back of the right hand to the small of the back for shoulder safety. Inhale, extend the arms out, stand up tall, sit up tall and stretch. One more time, each side, exhale, right hand to left leg, rotate or twist to the left, look to the left, good. Rise up on the inhale, stretch, take a breath if you need to. Exhale, left hand to right leg. You could go to the foot if you can and twist to the right. Rise up on the inhale and start over. Let the arms relax on the exhale. Take a breath here. On your next exhale, move into your forward bend. So last part of this wide-legged flow is an exhale into your forward bend. Just glide the hands down, bend the knees. Here's the strong leg work here. We're going to sit back in an imaginary chair if you're standing. Wisconsin arms, lift the chest. Exhale, bring hands to the center of the chest. You're staying in that strong squat, shoulders relaxed. Wisconsin arms again on the inhale. Lift your chin just a bit here in the chair position. Forward bend on the exhale. Lift the sits bones a bit, get those hamstrings to stretch. Sweep the arms wide and rise up to standing. Let the arms relax on the exhale and stay standing. You can do more reps of that flow if you'd like for strong legs and upper body mobility. Feet hip width apart, we're gonna move into the one-legged balance posture of tree pose. You can use a chair or wall if you'd like. We're gonna root the left foot down, bending the left knee, and you're gonna have the arms reach out for a little more center gravity kind of support here. So wait one second here as you put your foot down. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna march the right knee up, Good. And on the next breath, if you can, bring that right knee towards the right so you kind of rotate it into that tree pose. You can also keep the leg forward or the knee forward. The foot is on the calf or lower, and you're going to take two, about two breaths, and you could bring some movement to the body as you practice your balance, and the branches of the arms could rise up. So you get some exploration here of your balance practice. Take an exhale, root the right foot down. Widen the stance a bit, keep the right foot rooted, and the branches of the arms could stretch a little wider. But first we're going to exhale and march the left knee up, so you have a little bit of that practice of the tree pose. And then that left knee will rotate out a bit if you can. You don't have to, but you can try this. 
and the foot will be at the right calf or lower. Take a couple breaths here. Concentrate on your inhale and exhale. Then root that left foot down. Strong on your own two feet. Widen the stance a bit. You can sit back in the chair or stay standing. It's up to you. For a counter pose, you're going to inhale and you're going to stretch the arms wide. Give yourself a big stretch. Exhale. Either bring hands, if you can, across the chest to opposite shoulders into a hug. So bend the knees. Inhale. Stretch the arms wide. Stand up tall again. This is a great back stretch. And then you can do another hug or, Keith, you can go into the forward bend a little deeper just as a nice counter pose to the concentration it took to be in the one-legged balance. Rise up on the inhale. Give yourself time to bring feet hip width apart or stay nice and tall in your standing and seated position. Bring your awareness back to your breath and choose a word of intention for yourself for your day. Let this be a word that describes you and that can support you throughout your day. Take two more breaths to reaffirm your intention. Thank you.